Charlie, help! Help, Charlie! Charlie saved the day. He's like Lassie. He's <laughs> like Lassie. Come here, Lassie. Get up here. Good boy, Charlie. Sit! No. So he's acting like a maniac, so we put the leash on him. Remember, when you're working with a the puppy, there should always be a leash on him. This is a puppy update, and Charlie is going to be 14 weeks this Thursday. And if, if you've got your puppy at seven, eight, nine weeks, these weeks, these four weeks or whatever have been invaluable to your dog, although you're not getting a lot of progress. In other words, your dog's not highly trained at this point. You might even still just be putting the dog into that position. But don't worry about it because right, right before four months and around four months, your dog's brain, it really kicks in and it gets a lot easier. Now with Charlie, we're using, we're scenting all the objects with grouse scent and goose scent because we want Charlie to be habituated to this, this smell. So if Charlie does advanced training, he's gonna know what to look for. And it's very possible that the owner would want to, the owner already talked about that, like possibly using Charlie to hunt with. So another thing that we've been doing is using a 22 starter pistol, right? And making sure that Charlie's not gun shy and he's not. This dog is gonna have no problems. I don't know if we'll be able to use the dummy launcher before Charlie goes home, but we might be able to and we're doing this and try and get the dog used to a shotgun too so that when Charlie goes back, if the owner wants to use a dummy launcher, he can. I'm using the starter pistol with Charlie, making sure that he'll sit and not move. Sit. I had, the le I had the leash in my hand, making sure Charlie won't move. Sit. That's good. Sit. That's awesome, dude. Sit. Charlie will not be gun shy. There's no way. There's no way. Now, Jupy, we're using the starter pistol too because we're Jupy didn't have the advantage of living with me when he was nine weeks old so we're going over this with Jupy because Jupy does show some signs of when he hears a gunshot he gets excited it's you know it's like too much excitement for the dog Jupy to handle and he he, he pops out of sit or pops it you do you understand so we're making sure that Jupy can sit and I can fire the gun. This dog, no problem. So another thing that we're working on is getting him to hold this stick because where's your thing? Here it is. Because at a point, we want him to hold the stick, right? Hey, come here. We want him to hold the stick because at a point we're gonna have him hold the dumbbell and then we're gonna have him pick the dumbbell up. Now he'll do a puppy retrieve with the dumbbell and run around with it in his mouth and it looks adorable. Charlie! See, he's, he's learning to hold the object, um, but he, he's not doing it as a command. So Charlie needs to learn how to hold the dumbbell as a command. Do you, do you understand? It does, it looks absolutely adorable. And these are scented with grouse scent too. So they're scented with bird scent to make sure that the dog starts getting habituated to the sound, or the, not the sound, but the, um, the smell. Keep in mind that that is all we're really doing is we're not really classically conditioning the dog with this when we fire this when he eats. That's not what we're doing. We're just sort of getting the dog habituated to loud sounds. That's all. When... Um, when, when, pup, when, when, when your puppy at 14 weeks starts, you, you see this, you see that the dog is sort of understanding you more, it's getting it, that's the point where you start using pressure with the puppy. Circle the dog, get the dog used to the fact that I move around, that, that's not an indication that Charlie should move. I'm the human, I can go wherever I want. He's the dog. He needs to stay in position. Sit. No. He moved. He goes, we put him right back where he was. Sit. No, sit. Sit. Charlie, sit. No. No. Sit. Sit. Pick the 
leash up, drop it again, sit. Sit. I'm reinforcing right before I pick up the leash. No, sit. I'm saying no because picking up the leash will cause excitement. I know this, so I'm I'm telling him no because I know what's going on in this puppy's mind. Sit. See the progress we're getting with him? Sit. Drop the leash again. Circle him again. You're doing great, Char. No! Puppy wants to play, it's no big deal, but we're working right now. Charlie, up, sit. Good boy, sit. Drop the leash. No, sit. I'll do him the dummy, but I'll pick up the leash so I can gain control. Look at the seriousness on that dog's face. Charlie. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm serious, King. Bigfoot tried to steal me last night. Sit. No. Charlie, back up there. Sit. Drop the leash again because he fucked up. Sit. No. No. Sit. Sit. It's about two minutes. Two and a half minutes, the session's almost done. It's a puppy. You don't want to overwork the puppy. Keep the sessions real short. Do more sessions, right? Shorter, more. Sit. Try making around one more time. No, sit. See if we get to quit. N sit. No. Charlie. You start trying to make the dog compliant. We are not putting an e-collar on Charlie, Charlie yet, but it's going to come very soon. I had an e-collar on him for a very short period just to get him sort of used to having the weight around his neck. That's it. And we're, we're going to put an e-collar on him and start conditioning him properly. Very low. Probably on one. Lower than a human can feel it. Hey, give me the grouse scent. He just did a donkey kick when I picked this up. The dog is so cute. I mean, he's just so cute. There you go, there's your dumbbell. Here, run around with that, here. Um, he's so cute, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's a great job for me. I love working with Charlie. When the owner called me and said he was getting a nine week old Cocker Spaniel, I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I, I'll train your dog. I, you know, anytime anybody calls me with, any breed of puppy, I'm gonna to wanna to train it. And an English Cocker Spaniel, yeah, sign me up. Charlie, now, just make sure that you know everything that Charlie's doing at this point, it's still sort of puppy training. We are adding in pressure, but the dog really doesn't have to be totally compliant. We're sort of like letting the dog in stages learn we're not trying to overwhelm the dog. We want to make sure that the dog's trained with play in mind. That's the positive reinforcement. Don't use food. No food has been used with Charlie and, and no food will be used with Charlie. It, it conditions the dog to be excited, makes you look for a resource for snacks. It makes your dog lousy around food. You have to end up bribing the dog. Why are you bribing the dog? It's unnecessary. They'll work for play and with toys and praise so d don't use that stuff charlie is doing awesome if your dog is lagging behind and you're comparing it if you got your dog start training your dog the same thing same time as charlie all dogs sort of learn go through these phases in you know at different times but around the same time so if your dog's lagging a little bit behind don't worry your dog might be doing a little bit better than Charlie. I doubt it, but it's possible. And it's definitely possible that a dog that 
you were trying to train would actually sort of be older acting than Charlie, but not functioning as good as Charlie, just because Charlie's living with me right now. You know? He's living with the professionals, so Charlie's doing great. We're going to have great videos coming up with Charlie. I mean, absolutely fantastic videos. This next month of May with Charlie, now that he's sort of like getting everything, I can call Charlie and he'll come to me and stuff. There's great videos coming up. If you have a puppy, stay tuned. If you have problems with your puppy, backtrack in my playlist or on my channel in the search bar and, you know, search puppy or cocker spaniel. And remember, it doesn't matter what breed your, your dog is. It doesn't matter that he's an English cocker or, if, you know, if I had a Labrador here. They're all sort of trained the same way and they all sort of function the same way in varying degrees. Your dog is a subspecies of the wolf. When, if you get frustrated, if you're getting frustrated and things aren't going so good, put the puppy up and work with them later. And remember, quit on a high note and build on success. Charlie! He's running around with the dumbbell. It's so cute.